Hey guys, I'm going to be presenting a brief summary of the Zimbabwe 2008 uh, hyperinflation event. This event is, it's not exactly common knowledge, but it's commonly known, especially in the truth community, because it happened so recently, about five, six years ago, so it's fairly recent. In Zimbabwe, prices doubled every 24 hours in November 2008, and inflation reached levels of exponential um, percentages. They eventually stopped using the official currency and switched to the South African Rand or the US dollar. A loaf of bread ended up costing $35 million. Hyperinflation in Zimbabwe was one of the few instances that resulted in the abandonment of the local currency. At independence of 1980, the Zimbabwe dollar was worth about $1.25 US dollars. Afterwards, however, rampant inflation and the collapse of the economy severely devalued the currency. Inflation was steady before Robert Mugabe, in 98 began a program of land reforms that primarily focused on taking land from white farmers and redistributing those properties and assets to black farmers, which disrupted food production and caused revenues from export of food to plummet. The result of that um, to pay the expenditures, Mugabe's government and the uh, Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe printed more and more banknotes with higher face values, just like that. Inflation began early in the 21st century, reaching 624% in 04. It fell back to low triple digits before surging to a new high of 1,730% in 06. The Reserve Bank in Zimbabwe revalued on August 1, 2006 at a ratio of 1,000 Zimbabwe dollars to each second dollar. But year-to-year -year inflation rose by June 2007 to 11,000%, and larger denominations were issued. Inflation by July 16th officially surged to 2,200,000%. On August 1, 2008, um, the Zimbabwe dollar was re-denominated at a ratio of 1,010 to each third dollar. On August 19th, 2008, official figures announced for June estimated the inflation over 11,250,000%. Zimbabwe's annual inflation was 231 million percent. Prices doubled, were doubling every 17 days. In its November 2008 peak, Zimbabwe's rate of inflation approached but failed to uh, surpass Hungary's, um, who had the world record of uh, inflation in July uh, 1946. So, here's some Zimbabwe currency I picked up. $100 trillion bank reserve note and a $50 trillion bank reserve note. Basically, with hyperinflation, it gets devalued. They pay their debts with printed currency, just just like Mugabe did, just like all the countries are doing these days. And it's, I mean, it's a joke to me. All they do, they just add another zero, add another zero, add three zeros, add three more zeros. That's all they do, is just add zeros to the currency. It's basically a joke. It's stealing the wealth from people. All right, stay tuned for a... Uh, Currency update on Yugoslavia, Weimar Republic, Iran, and the U.S.